I am William Ocheng Duase, the acting principal of Nyamadele Secondary School. The school was started in the year 2019 with a student population of only four, but today we have grown to 34. So to be brief, we are very, very grateful to Azina Sako for this donation. It is a facelift to the school and our students are very happy and we know this has boosted when their morale academically they will strive even to do better thank you okay, we are in the process of registering the school the plans are at an, are at an advanced stage and uh, we have done the necessary uh, required uh, steps our registration forms are at the county level. They are only awaiting discussion by a committee and approval. So we are hoping that before this year ends, the school will be registered. Okay. Uh, I'm the vice chairman for uh, Azina Sako. I'm actually representing the national chairman of the Sako, Mr. Evans Kibagendi, who could not make it. I am actually the the chairman of the Education and Marketing Committee of uh, uh, Azina. And uh, this process, uh, this process uh, to support Nyamadede Secondary School started uh, uh, more than a year ago. And uh, it's a process that uh, we have uh, gone through for uh, a period of time. Uh, the request was uh, placed before us. Uh, we noted uh, out of the request that was given, we had good uh, justification as to why they needed, uh, we needed to support them. So the board uh, indeed agreed to, to support the school and the, the responsibility was given to my committee to look into the details of what we needed to do. So uh, looking at the student population and the kind of uh, locus that uh, the Minister of Education had uh, recommended to be given to schools, we decided on uh, a design and uh, luckily enough we had a, a, a fabricator who could uh, do the kind of standard that was required and as we are starting this process we we consulted the Ministry of Education uh, to give the dimensions and also confirm uh, the sample that was done that was agreed upon and so the full production started we have uh, donated a total of uh, uh, 50 lockers uh, 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 and uh, these lockers uh, the total cost is around 200,000 the cost is higher than that because we have made we have had some uh, operational uh, we had uh, some some operational costs visiting the place getting to, to see what was happening and uh, today we are happy to have gone this length of uh, now supporting the school this is part of the, our corporate uh, social responsibility as Azina Sako. We also give back to the society uh, because uh, it is uh, something that is embedded in our, in our bylaw. Uh, it's a requirement. We have been given this kind of support, but uh, we have not gone outside Nairobi and uh, we have not gone, we are not gone uh, uh, far away from Azina. It is uh, the, the, in the last one year that we have decided to, to, to spread our wings uh, beyond uh, Nairobi. So we gave some support. Um, to a children's home in uh, Mombasa. We gave another support to another children's home in Nairobi. Then we gave uh, some support to the Kibira, uh, Kibira community where we donated uh, water tanks. And this was uh, out of realization that uh, COVID-19 was a serious